This problem involves an inverse trig function inside, inverse sine. So if you see this inside of an integral, then most of the time that's what you want to use for your u. So the u, uh, for our first step here, the u is equal to inverse sine of x over 3. Now for step number two, we need to take the derivative of both sides. So the question is, well, what's the, what's the derivative of that? Okay, now this is something that we talked about a long time ago in a previous section. So I'm going to put the formula up here since it's been a while since you may have seen it. So I'm going to do the derivative of inverse sine. We'll let w equal this expression on the inside, so something besides an x. Okay, so if it's something besides an x, I'm going to use this instead of a u to avoid confusion with this other u we have here. The formula for it is w primed over the square root of 1 minus w squared. That's the specific formula that we're going to use when we take the derivative, and we'll do that here in the next step. In this case, uh, the, we have a one-third x on the inside. So when I follow that formula and I do w primed, the derivative of the part on the inside there is a uh, just a one-third only. One-third x, the derivative is one-third. On the bottom, I have the square root of one minus uh, x over three squared. x over three was my original w, and then I have, of course, all that multiplied by uh, dx. Now before I solve for dx, let me do some simplifying on this first. Okay, so for this, we're going to uh, solve for it. Uh, so in this case, before we get into the solving, I'm first going to do some kind of simplifying on this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the 3, I can put that down below. And then this is going to turn into 1 minus x squared over 9. And then I, of course, I can write that as uh, dx. I want to get some common denominators on the inside here. So this is dx over 3 square root of 9 minus x squared over 9, multiplying this by 9 over 9. And then I can take the square root of the top and bottom separately. So what I'll do is I'll have a 3 here. I have square root of 9 minus x squared. Down below, I'm going to get a 3 as well, because uh, I'm doing square root of 9 separately, separating that top and bottom. And then the 3's are going to cancel out. So I get du is equal to dx over the square root of 9 minus x squared. Now, if I cross multiply and solve for dx, what I'm going to end up getting for dx is dx is equal to uh, du times the square root of 9 minus x squared. So I'll put the square root part first. 9 minus x squared and then all that's going to be times uh, du. So again, I basically cross multiplied here and solved and that's basically uh, what I get for dx. So this part is the one that I'm going to put into here, and now you notice the reason why we chose the inverse sine, because the derivative happens to get us exactly what we have here uh, on the bottom. So now that's going to cancel out with what I have. So when I put this back in, this is uh, for here, I have uh, u cubed, because that this whole thing inside is my u. This is over the square root of 9 minus x squared. I'm multiplying this by dx, and dx is going to be this that we said here, square root of 9 minus x squared, and then times uh, du. That's going to allow all, the, all that to cancel, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this, so hopefully you already have all that uh, down already. Okay, we're going to cancel this part out, and we're ready now to do step number four. That's going to leave us with just this. We have the integral of u cubed. So again, that's how you can make something that looks complicated. Take it all down into here, that's the idea of, some, of substitution allows you to be able to do these integrals a lot easier. Now we can take the antiderivative. You get u to the fourth over four plus c, which if we put the inverse back in, we get the inverse of x over three. All that's raised to the fourth power over four plus c. Then this right here is gonna be your final answer.